everybody welcome to day 49 of the lockdown uh, good news today uh, I'll give you a clue I finally uh, decided what to spend my money on that I was going to spend in Japan I could have left it in the bank I suppose I've got all my money back which is very good of the airlines to give us all our money back uh, but I thought no I'll buy a new bike so I've just bought a CBR 1100 double X Super Blackbird in red that's colour and it's on its way to me now it's not here yet it's been delivered obviously I can't go and get it because it's in another part of the country and we can't travel but it will get here hopefully by the end of the week which is just in time for the easing of the lockdown restrictions whereby we can go out and travel to exercise so I can have a run out to Derbyshire or places like that uh, so exciting, exciting stuff right, that's it, news over uh, today uh, I'm just going to give you an update on the little kiln I've had a problem with the wiring but I've sorted that a uh, quick look around of what's uh, made and what's waiting to go in the kiln and a tiny bit of throwing and a few thoughts so uh, not a vast amount that's happened but interesting I think uh, okay here they go okay a little update on the little electric kiln it's, it's, it's a 13 amp plug socket you can plug it into your kitchen wall sockets uh, and uh, the plug was overheating and uh, it wouldn't work one of the days it's an old kiln and it's an old plug socket so what I've done is I've taken off I'll show you now wiring comes out of the kiln here and I've wired it directly into a cooker socket so to turn the kiln on to power it up you just press that switch there and the light comes on and uh, so turn it off and the, the other benefit is that it's got an, an, another plug socket here that I can use for power tools and that's my light that I use when I'm firing at 3 in the morning so that gets plugged in there uh, and that's uh, solved the problem I mean I bought it initially because it was a 13 amp plug you just plug it into a plug socket but obviously an old plug started to uh, wear out so cut it back to new wire wired it direct into a cooker socket which is a 42 amp uh, fuse inside it so everything's perfect now right quick look around the studio this um, these are some more eager vases there waiting to go. There's four there. Some of these uh, black bodied lidded jars, more pots, some more uh, you know, is there with the nuka glaze on. There's some biscuit ware all under here. More biscuit ware there. That's the uh, rouletted under glaze, on, uh, sorry, rouletted slip to go under the glaze. There's the um, moon jar with the lugs. They come out okay. And then across here, we're just waiting for these to dry. I've turned the dehumidifier off because it's noisy. Um, these, I always dry them with the lids slightly off, like this, once they start to dry out, because I get them fitting quite neatly. And then these dry. Uh, and the lids get fastened in I've learned that uh, mistake so they've all got uh, the lids slightly slightly off now just in case the body grabs them because I like them to be a snug fit uh, these are the Miotos there drying out and across the back of there and there's some um, moon jars here and the bird feeder is drying out and uh, that's it. Um, just going to do a bit of throwing today um, and uh, just waiting to get things dry biscuited so I can have a fire at the weekend. Right, trying out a slightly different uh, throwing angle today for you. Just going to throw some small kiln fillers now because I'm just coming up to another firing and these dry quickly and uh, 
I can get them biscuit fired quite quickly. They're just small, just small bowls. Kind of a general purpose bowl. They're always useful around the house. to try and get them all if I can find my calipers. I really should get organised, shouldn't I? I'm going to try and get them all roughly the same size. What I've got here is the bull's tongue um, rib. It just gives me a nice inner edge. news about the, uh, the motorbike coming, I can't get out on it very much now obviously because of the lockdown but that's going to ease in a f few weeks and um, really looking forward to get back into it. Oh I've, uh, I've mixed some um, sand in with this, I can feel it, some beach sand. give it a bit of uh, a bit of texture and it helps with the um, with the chinos if you give it a more porous open body Yes, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, anybody think I've done this before? It's all about muscle memory, isn't it? You know, there's no, there's no, um, short, no shortcuts in this business. You've got to just put the time in, the hours in, throw the pots. You, know, you can't expect you to just throw one pot a week and. going to be perfect. You know, I know I know people who do classes and it's difficult you want to get an hour a week to go to to do classes and that's uh, that's understandable but if you've just got an hour an hour a week in a in a further education or whatever or a college course or night school or whatever you call them you get yourself set up you could you can throw quite a few dozen pots in a in an hour once you get into it, especially if you do simple ones. A simple throwing like this, and get into the repetition of throwing. I know I make individual ones and I go on about repeat throwing. I know I don't like it, but I have done it. You know, I mean, I've done I've done domestic wear before. I've done repeat throwing before. I just prefer individual pots now, but I can do it. You've got to learn the ABCs. So, as I used to say years ago in the war, you've got to, uh, you've got to get your knees brown. See that one? While I'm talking, that's not one. That one's not quite as good, is it?
Thank you. They were slightly less clay than that, I think. I've only roughly made them out of 500 grams. Around 450, 500 grams. They're all roughly the same, but they're not identical. If you're going to repeat throw, make sure you weigh your, weigh your clay accurately. And if you want to throw to a pointer, it always makes the life a lot easier. I should be having a firing um, this weekend or just after the weekend. It'll probably be Monday now. Things are not drying out as fast as... Uh, as I would like, as quickly as I should like, I'll say fast. These are really good. You know the transition between the bottom of the pot and the f above the foot ring and into the wall of the pot. These are a good tool to to get that transition, so you don't get the step in the bottom. So uh, I don't know what they are. A few quid. It's almost from Bath Potters, I think. But you can pick them up online. Quite useful. I was supposed to be in Japan. I was supposed to be coming back from Japan this week and had a fortnight and I was going to pick a couple of the bigger ones of these up from over there but c'est la vie. try not to think about it that's it time for some lunch right that's it um, day 49 Halfway through, it's about three o'clock now. Three o'clock I've done for the day. But, um, time to go and um, look on YouTube at all the uh, CBR 1100 Super Blackbird video content. I imagine there's quite a bit to look at. Very exciting. See you tomorrow.